top of the world and now I'm living And the good just gets better, keeps a giving Not even close to the end, it's just beginning Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah Hi, it's Ann Perry. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I wanted to share with you a little bit about the energy of the 22-4. I had a subscriber send me a lovely letter the other day, James Stewart. Thanks, James. He asks, Anne, you know, I get it. I signed up for a tough, challenging life path number of the 22-4. I get it. What I don't get is, what's going to happen to me if I don't make it? What happens to me if I don't achieve what it is I said I was going to achieve in this lifetime? I feel like I'm, I'm just spinning my wheels and I'm not getting anywhere. So in response to that, I thought it would be kind of interesting to create a video for you to talk about the challenges of the 22-4, the positive sides, the negative sides, and what does happen if you don't meet those challenges. So let's first of all go and look at the lessons of the 22-4. Now remember the 22 is a master number, okay? Whenever we see repeating numbers, two and two, that becomes a master number. So the two energy relates to uh, the emotional side of life. It relates to the sensitive side of life um, and also uh, imagination and creativity and inspired thoughts, okay? So when we see the two sitting to the left of the slash, we know that this is the area that you need to master to become the best four that you can be. So in the area of the two energy, it's learning how to be a cooperative team player. So many 22 fours suffer from anxiety and the anxiety comes from the fact that you guys feel like you're supposed to be doing something much bigger in your life than what you actually are doing. Okay. Part of that comes from the fact that you might hold yourself up in your room or your office or your home and you don't want to go out. You don't want to socialize too much because you're almost afraid of what would happen if, you know, my ideas or, or, you know, that I actually accomplished something amazing, all this attention would be brought upon myself. And I don't really do very well with the limelight. So that's kind of scary. And worse than that, what happens if I fail? What happens if I talk about this, about my ideas and whatnot, and I don't accomplish them and, I, and I'm perceived as a failure? That would destroy me. Okay. Um, what about um, understanding that you can't build a house all by yourself, right? You can't build a bridge all by yourself. You need to employ the, the, the help of other people. Um, you know, not everybody is really good at all things. So you need to employ the talents of many people to build that structure, to build that foundation that you want in your life. So you need to get out there and you need to talk about it, whatever your ideas are, okay? Um, you need to be organized in your thoughts. Focus is, is a big issue with the four, okay? So when you're a 22 four, you need to focus even more so on getting the job done, getting organized in your thoughts, getting uh, a plan in place, and understanding it's gonna take a step-by-step -step process to get there. Um, so much I wanna tell you. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, it's all, it's all downloading here and it's coming to me faster than I can, than I can deliver the message. Um, so, the four side of this is about stability. You know, it's about process and understanding that it's a step-by-step -step application. The twos struggle with patience. You don't have a whole lot of patience. You want things done now, right? And But the four energy says, no, we got to slow down the bus here and we have to come up with a plan and we have to create um, a step-by-step -step process. So this is part of the lessons in learning to be responsible, um, accountable to be the builder and to remain very very focused on the task at hand. Okay so now let's take a look at the positive sides of the 22-4 when you guys are living to the best of your potential in a 22-4 energy. Well, the 22-4 um, is somebody who likes to turn obstacles into opportunities. Okay they look at hurdles and they say yeah I can get over that no problem. Um, they want to know how to break down tasks into more manageable and um, smaller pieces. And that's what trips up a 22-4 sometimes is that they don't create plans that are really easily manageable, so they tend to fail. Um, you want to set realistic goals and objectives for yourself. Um, that's the positive side of the 22-4s. Um, they can learn from their mistakes. Uh, they can take criticism really well. They can take um, information from their team players into account and make better of it. Um, they need to be willingly of service to other people without totally exhausting themselves in doing so. They want to be able to give of themselves in a very positive, very helpful kind of a way. Um, and again, master living in the moment. Okay. Now, the positive side of the 
uh, 22.4 says that they understand that they're builders, but it's going to take time to build whatever it is they want to build. Okay, So if you're trying to build a business, it's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take focus. Um, and that's the thing that the fours can do best. You guys have this ability to focus better than anybody else. There's no life path number better than the 22-4 to be able to focus. The 13-4, they can't focus like you can because they've got the lesson around the three, which is all about not having any focus, right? So that four energy is around being focused. So it's like you're wearing this lens, okay? It's like this telescopic lens and you keep having to adjust it wherever you go in your life. So as soon as you start focusing on, oh, you know, that's really frustrating, I don't have the time to do that, you got to flip it over here and go, yeah, but I do have the time to do this, okay? Every time, you con you constantly have to have um, your eye on the lens of your life because you guys can focus on anything extremely well. The unfortunate thing is it's a human nature to focus on all the things that are your obstacles, all the things that are standing in your way of you being able to move forward. So you need to really put your best foot forward and say, you know what, I can overcome this, right? Um, and I can look for solutions to this instead of having your pity party and going, well, I'm not good enough, you know, or I don't have the answers or I don't have the information to accomplish something. Yeah, you do. You just have to look for it and you have to continually adjust that lens. It's very, very important. If there's one piece of information I can give you today, it's that fours can focus, but you have to remain focused on the positive rather than the negative. So speaking of the negative, let's take a look now at the negative side of the 22-4. So the negative side of the 22-4 is that because you guys can be so incredibly um, focused, you tend to um, be very, very stubborn. And so you become very willful and you, refer you refuse to change direction. You see things in black and white, so you're not willing to you know, stretch and, and look at things differently. Um, so you become very, very rigid in your views. You become too narrow focused and you're not open to helpful criticism. So, for example, if you've come up with a plan and the architect comes in and looks at that and goes, mm, no, because you know what, we can't do that because if you do it this way, um, you know, the road's going to crumble underneath you, right? So that's probably a pretty bad plan, right? And you're like, nope, that's the way I'm doing it. We all know these people, right? You know, they're just hard asses and they just say, nope, that's the way I'm going to do it. Well, let me know how that works out for you, right? So adjusting your focus once again to allow other people's input is really helpful. Um, you get very stressed out, very confused, right? Because once again, you're not focusing on the big picture. You're not focusing on how grand this could be. Rome was not built in, built in a day. It took time. It took effort. The pyramids were not built in a day. It took time. It took effort, right? So if you're planning on building anything, you know, it can be, you know, writing a book, it can be creating a business plan, it can be starting a business, it can be, you know, whatever. It's going to take time, it's going to take energy, it's going to take focus, and it's going to take a team effort. To build something as large as what you agreed to build, based on the fact that you're a 22-4, and that you signed a contract saying that you would build something magnificent, listen, you need the help of other people. So learn how to play nice in the sandbox. Um... So refusing to follow a step-by-step -step process, that impatient side of the two comes in here, right? And that, that will uh, cause you a little bit of grief. Okay, so further to that, I wanted to talk a little bit about the fact that I think one of the reasons that a lot of the 22-4s are very frustrated is because when you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you see a lot of these people are talking about oh, you're so amazingly gifted and you can do this and you can do that and, you know, the, the world is your oyster and you have such talent and you're destined for greatness and all kinds of fortune is coming. Oh, my God. Like, I can't imagine how stressed out you must be, right, from hearing this and all the bells and whistles going and all the lights flashing and stuff. You know what? It's tough. The 22-4 is freaking tough. I'm not going to lie to you. It is. But, you know what? I think the easiest way to... um change the struggles that you're experiencing is to change your thoughts because when you change your thoughts you change your reality if you believe life is tough i guess it's tough i'm not going to argue with that if you think it's tough that's your world right it's tough if you believe that um, you can overcome some obstacles i believe you because that's your reality you believe that so there you go so your thoughts do become things and your things become your reality right so the biggest tip that I can give you uh, is to say make sure that you're focused on your potential 
rather than the possibility that you might fail. Recognize that today is the only moment that you have, guaranteed. So make a difference today. Um, what could that difference be? Um, set up a day timer. You know, get yourself on a day timer. Start planning things. Um, start making more uh, productive use of your time. You know, little steps like that. Just organize your workspace. You know, your workspace is very indicative. If your workspace is, is a mess, that's a very good, clear indication of what's going on inside of your head, right? So if your thoughts are a mess and you're all over the place and, and you can't get things done, it's probably because your environment around you is the same way. It's a mess as well. So there's just little steps that you can take to help get there. So what happens if you, you know, in, in answer to James' question, what happens if you feel that you don't accomplish what it is you set out to do in your lifetime? Well, first of all, let's remember that master numbers mature later in life. So, you know, if you're less than 45 years old, then chill out, okay? Um, I'm not saying, I'm not going to cut you a whole lot of slack and say you don't have to work hard until you're 45, but I will say that you're probably not going to have it figured out until, you know, that time frame anyways. But in the meantime, you can be productive. In the meantime, you can get together a plan of action. You can try to stay focused on your goals. Make the goals realistic, okay? Make them attainable, not pie in the sky. And I think, I think really, you know, the internet has done you guys a disservice because you're being told that you're all that and you don't feel all that, right? And so one, there's, there's one more, you know, measure to meet is this this implication that you know you're phenomenal and you I mean you are phenomenal you're amazing people we're all amazing people but you guys have to um, understand that there's a lot of sensationalism that exists on the internet okay which makes you feel like you have to be some someone that's so much bigger than what you are you know what you have all the information that you need right in front of you you have all the information in your head you've got all the information in your heart you have all the life experiences you need to make a difference today it doesn't have to be something magnificent the size of a billboard, okay? Just make a difference each day. And you know what? At the end of the day, if you do your best, I think that it's my personal belief that when we're done with this lifetime and we go on back into spirit and we leave our bodies behind, um, we have the opportunity to incarnate back again into the next lifetime. And at which time you sit down with your guides again and you go, hey, you know what? I didn't quite accomplish this goal here. I'd like to go back and work on that. I'd like to work on the four energy. And, you know, I wasn't particularly uh, patient, so I better bring some two energy back in again. And I wasn't very expressive, you know, and creatively expressive, so I better bring some three energy in. And so you discuss all the plans that, that you want to have in place for your next lifetime. Um, it's not going to be perceived as a failure if you don't get it all in this lifetime. Remember, every, every lifetime is an opportunity to... Um, transcend. It's an opportunity to improve. It's an opportunity to evolve. Um, and so it's it's all about the evolution of the soul, if you will. So, but it's really entirely up to you as to how fast you want to do that. So don't panic. You know, you guys who are 22 fours, if you don't feel that you're accomplishing what it is you're meant to be accomplishing, it's okay, right? Take it day by day. That's all we've got. We don't know how long we've got while we're here. Moment by moment. See if you can make a difference each day. Just you know, make a difference in your work environment. Um, do whatever you can to honor your responsibilities, things like that. And if you have any questions at all, you are more than welcome to post a question down below. I do my best to answer every single question that comes in. Um, I do have a Facebook page. Uh, I post something new there every single day. So you might be inspired there and become a numerology keener like me. Um, and I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel because I offer something here new every single week and uh, on my website there's um, a link on my website at www.annperrynumerologist.com uh, it's called resources and if you click on that there's all kinds of really cool PDFs and things that you can download um, to learn a little bit more about numerology and there's even a resource there about life path numbers uh, and the 22-4 is discussed in there further. Thank you so much guys I so appreciate your time I hope that this has uh, brought a little bit of enlightenment to you and uh, once again, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay wonderful.